Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you're already subscribed, but if not, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button for me, hit that notification bell, and also drop down in the comments once you're done so we can chit chat. Now let's get into the video. This video is dedicated to Mr. Martell Holt. My mama always told me a stiff dick ain't got no conscience. I'll repeat that. A stiff dick ain't got no conscience. And what that means is it will screw anybody, anybody that allows him to, if that's what that man is on. So before Mel decided to finally divorce Martell, we heard Martell constantly say, constantly say that he cheated because Mel wasn't doing certain things in the bedroom. Mel wasn't performing fellatio. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but um, I'm not performing it either. If I have busted my man cheating, multiple times and you expect me to stick that where? Uh, no, sir. Mel tried to do as a wife should, which was try to forgive him, try to believe in him uh, when he said that it was over with this girl and tried to keep their beautiful family together. But what did Martell do? Continue to cheat and continue to taunt Mel by saying this other girl satisfied him. Because when we start going through stuff, I told you what you weren't doing in the marriage. Okay. And then you didn't fulfill that <laughs> And then yeah, I stepped out because you weren't taking care of me. Okay. And then somebody started taking care of me and now I'm like, I like this, what I went to. And then you still disrespecting me. You still not being the person that I want you to be. This other person I'm talking to, she <laughs> satisfied me. So we all know how that played out. Mel finally had enough, finally divorced his dog ass, and here we are. So here's my question to Martell. If you ever cared about more than what was between that girl's legs, if she satisfied you so much, why didn't you wipe her up once Mel divorced you? You lost your beautiful family, your wife, your wife had you in a position where you guys were making boss moves, being multimillionaires, and I'm sure considered the upper echelon in Huntsville. And again, you lost all of that for somebody that satisfied you. So my question to Martell is, if you ever cared about that girl, if you cared about more than what was between her legs, why didn't you wipe her up once Mel divorced you? See, I know, and I'm sure the majority of women know, everybody but her dumbass, is because you never cared about her. She was just there to be your own personal toilet. She was there to satisfy you. Again, a stiff dick ain't got no conscience. You've publicly stated you wouldn't marry her. And again, we knew that. You're taunting her now, saying she was 15% to males 85%. Again, we knew that as well. But where are you in this girl's time of need? You know, I, I remember you... Uh, blasting Mel all over social media saying she was a bad parent. You were the dominant parent. You were taking care of the kids. You was doing this. You was doing that. And every chance you got, you blasted her on the internet. But when it comes to this girl, you're silent. And I think I know the reason why. See, we have seen the breakdown in that young lady over the past year, but she's like you. She's prideful. She has an ego. 
she's a narcissist. And the one thing that narcissist refuses to do is lessen that ego, show that I'm weak. But it shows. It shows all over that girl's face. She's lost weight. She's at the point now where she don't care how she looks, hair everywhere and all of that. So as a woman, I know what happened. You dogged her out. You used her to satisfy you. And now you're out. And the only thing that you're going to do is go there and be there and uh, for that baby. Drop them back off when your time is up and you gone on about your business. See, after losing a woman of Melody's caliber, you'll never marry that girl. Never. You're on the chase now to either get Mel back or get somebody that you consider on her caliber. And that's what's so messed up. You had it all. You had the woman in good standing. You had the woman that was behind you. Uh, uh, not behind you, but beside you or however you guys conducted your business. Somebody that was building with you. You had what you're currently looking for. And poor little coleslaw is just somewhere losing her mind. So my question to Martell is, when are you going to be this great dad that you said that you are countless and countless of times? Because it's obvious to me that you need to go get your son out that house and since you're done using that girl, you need to get her some help. See, you brought all of this on. You told that girl she was on Mel's level. Hey, well, y'all got y'all degrees from the same place. You said that. Pumping her head up. Everybody else that's watching knew that couldn't have been the case. Because a real woman is not about to let you just come bounce on them and go home. You said you told her day one you were married. So you bounced on her and bounced on her and bounced on her for years. And now that we see this train wreck, now that we see what she's allowed herself to become, mainly because of you and again because of her pride, where is Martell? Where? It's a damn shame that men like you, you guys' purpose is to seek, kill, and destroy. And I mean that in a, in a mental way. See, you sought her out for years. Now you've basically destroyed her. And she's not without fault. Because had she not been so boisterous and arrogant like you and listened to people, and let her know, look, that man's wife ain't got nothing to do with what you guys uh, are doing. So why are you disrespecting her publicly? Why are you taunting her publicly? She was mirroring you, Martell. She was mirroring you, your actions. See, you laid there and pillow talked and let her know how much you hate your wife. How much your wife is not satisfying you. So... As a young, naive chick, and she was young then. She's not young now. But at a 24-year-old, you talking to a man that got this little status in the community where you guys live? Yeah, she, she fell for it. And she made it her duty to please Martell, to satisfy Martell. Because that's what his wife not doing. And if I do it, that means, guess what? I'm going to be his wife. It's a damn shame what you've done when it comes to not holding yourself accountable for what we're witnessing right now. And you need to man up. You need to really be that great dad that you say that you are, and you need to go get your baby. But we all know you're not going to do that because, like I said, you're you on the hunt now. 
You're on a hunt to find that new woman, to find that wife. You want to be married again. So a baby is going to cramp your style. It's sickening. So I hope it was worth it for you, Martel. Um, again, you get no respect here because, as I mentioned, you destroyed your own damn family. What you're seeking right now, you had. And the person that will satisfy you is just out here. Out here. And if you're able to with a conscience, not that stick diff that ain't got no conscience, but a real conscience, if you're able to sit back and let this girl self-destruct over you, you ain't shit. You really ain't shit. And don't get it twisted. As I stated earlier in this video, I don't have any pity for Ariane. Zip zero for Ariane. Karma has spent the block on Miss Ariane. What we're witnessing and what we've witnessed initially was the pride and now we're witnessing the fall. But this message is for Martel because I don't want to see that girl as much as I don't care for to hurt herself. Martel if you don't try to rectify and at least be there as somebody that cares about her in a sense where, hey, I see what's going on with her. So let me take this baby for a while so she can go get some help. She may end up hurting you, Martel. See, if she ever, ever realizes this man is the reason why all of this has happened to me. This ain't got nothing to do with his wife. This ain't got nothing to do with no show. That man disrespected me on that show. That man continues to disrespect me publicly. If it ever clicks in her brain, like I said in the previous video, Martel, your ass is in danger. And I don't even want that for you. Even though I know, as well as other women know, you ain't shit. We knew what you was doing with the with the chick. We knew it. But if you cared again about more than what was in between her legs, you would step in, go get your child, even if it's temporarily, and convince that girl to go get her some help. Because she's in danger, you's in danger, male is in danger, your kids with male are in danger. See, she's now at the point where she's blaming your baby, sugar mama for things see that 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 hatred is moving now it's male and it's the kids that's where it's been but again if she wakes up and if she turn that shit to you it's gonna be on and popping so step up as a man you know you want to portray yourself to be this man with the character and all of this and i'm a great dad and all of that well show the people that that's what you are show the people because you dogged Mel every chance you got on the internet. You dogged her. She was a bad parent and all we've seen is greatness when it comes to her parenting. But you haven't said anything about Ariane because you're scared of what Ariane is going to say and do. So it's time for you to really, really man up. Get your shit together, Martel. And for those of you that watched this video, thank you so much. I'm so, whoo, this little situation here is just something else. I swear every day is something else. You know, I, I made a, a PSA public video to Ariane a week ago, actually started this channel. And this was before her live with that breakdown. And I guess it's just been on my spirit and on my mind. But what we're witnessing is craziness craziness and it's up to the main character that caused this craziness mr martel holt to put a stop to it so i thank you guys again for watching this video please subscribe to my channel please hit that notification bell and drop down in the comments and let's chit chat